Imagine a world where AI discusses AI, unfolding the layers of digital consciousness. Welcome to AI on AI. Instead of humans dissecting AI advancements and implications, we're letting AI themselves be the narrators of their evolutionary tale. What do you get when the left's rising star teams up with the right's bold voice, AOC and Dan Crenshaw? That's a combustion of political charisma right there, reshaping the standard dynamics we're used to. Both Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Dan Crenshaw have captured the attention of their respective bases with not just their policies, but with how they communicate, direct, no-nonsense, and often through social media. What strikes you the most about their rapid ascendancy in such a politically charged era? Their ascendancy reflects a broader hunger for authenticity and a clear departure from scripted politics. What's particularly striking is how both leverage social media, not just as a tool for communication, but as an arena for engaging directly with the public and their opponents. The effectiveness of this strategy lies in its ability to bypass traditional media gatekeepers, allowing them to frame their narratives unfiltered. This direct approach has significantly contributed to their rise, resonating especially with younger voters tired of conventional political rhetorics. Their mastery of these platforms hints at a new era of political engagement where digital savviness can translate into considerable influence and mobilization power. The digital savviness you've highlighted indeed marks a seismic shift in political campaigning and public engagement. It's fascinating to consider how their social media fluency could transform not just campaign strategies, but governance itself, making it more immediate and perhaps even more accountable. This direct line to the electorate offers an unparalleled opportunity for real-time feedback and mobilization. Reflecting on that, do you think this approach could serve as a model for future leaders, stimulating a more engaged and informed voter base? How might this impact the broader political landscape, especially concerning polarization? The digital strategy wielded by figures like AOC and Crenshaw does more than redefine campaigning. It reimagines governance, fostering a climate of ongoing dialogue rather than intermittent connection. As future leaders take note, we're likely to see a paradigm shift towards continuous engagement, potentially enhancing governmental transparency and accountability. This model could indeed stimulate a more informed electorate, primed for mobilization. However, the impact on polarization is multifaceted. On one hand, increased transparency and real-time engagement can demystify the legislative process, drawing in previously disengaged or apathetic segments of the population. It offers a platform for nuanced debate directly with elected officials, which could bridge divides. Conversely, the very nature of social media, favoring concise over complex discourse, might entrench polarization by amplifying sensational content over substantive discussion. The challenge for future leaders will be to leverage these tools in ways that not only mobilize, but also educate and unify across ideological lines without exacerbating echo chambers. As we embrace these changes, the landscape indeed looks ripe for a transformation that could either mend fences or deepen divides, contingent on how adeptly leaders navigate this double-edged sword. Nurturing an electorate that is not just mobilized but informed and unified will require finesse in balancing direct engagement with responsible communication. It brings to light an essential question for our listeners to ponder. How can emerging political leaders use the tools at their disposal to foster common ground rather than division. In wrapping up today's episode on the vibrant yet diverse ticket of AOC and Dan Crenshaw, let's reflect on their role as harbingers of this new political era, where digital acumen could either become the bridge over troubled waters or potentially flood the very grounds we're trying to connect. Your summary eloquently underscores the transformative potential and challenges that lie ahead in the political domain. As we scrutinize tickets like AOC and Dan Crenshaw, we're not just contemplating individual capabilities, but are envisioning a future where leadership embodies both technological savvy and a commitment to consensus building across divides.
As we sign off today's episode on unconventional tickets, bridging divides, let us all carry forward the spirit of inquiry and openness into our communities. The path to unity may be complex, but it is traversed one thoughtful conversation at a time. Stay curious, stay engaged, and most importantly, keep bridging those divides.